welcome to bsc statistics students in this uh, class uh, i explained some of the selected problems in operations research 1 of final bsc semester 5 paper 6a operations research 1 is called or 1 i'll tell you for university examination some selected problems if you do these uh, problems uh almost all you can attempt uh, 90% of the problems in the examination as very very important problems uh, what i'm discussing here uh you see unit 1 unit 1 is uh, uh operations research uh, uh in which uh, it is going to be discussed graphical method of solving the linear programming problem so uh, i have given uh, here uh, uh in maximization two particular problems here you see maximize that is equal to 5x1 plus 7x2 constraints x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 4 3x1 plus 8x2 less than or equal to 24 10x1 plus 7x2 less than or equal to 35 this is what the problem and x1 x2 greater than or equal to 0 and uh, second one maximize that is equal to 120x1 plus 100x2 subject to the constraints 10x1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to 80 Six x one plus six x two less than or equal to sixty six, and four x one plus five x eight x two greater than or equal to twenty four, and five x one plus six x two is less than or equal to ninety. This is the uh, one more problem maximization, and uh, I suggest uh, uh, two problems in minimization. So if you do these problems, which are enough in the graphical method, and uh, same kind of uh, problems uh, uh, you will get almost. Minimize that is equal to four x one plus two x two. Subject to the constraints, x one plus two x two greater than or equal to two. Three x one plus x two greater than or equal to three. Four x one plus three x two greater than or equal to six. And x x two x one x two greater than or equal to zero. So all the constraints are greater than or equal to in the minimization case. Now you see here in the first problem, maximization case, all constraints are less than or equal to. So it is a bounded region. It is an unbounded region. Like that. This is another problem. Minimization. Twenty x one plus ten x two. Constraints. X one plus two x two less than or equal to forty. Three x one plus x two. This is x two. X two is greater than or equal to thirty. Four x one plus three x two greater than or equal to sixty. And x one x two greater than or equal to zero. So these are the four problems. I suggest very important problem uh, in the graphical method. You please do these particular problems so that you can attempt any question, any kind of problem in the uh examination right that is about unit 1 in unit 1 only the method is graphical method of course mathematical formulation is there but uh, the most important problems only i am explaining here okay and similarly if you come to unit 2 uh, the only one method is simplex so in simplex method uh, i have given here four problems i hope you uh, watch here Maximize that is equal to three x one plus two x two constraints two x one plus x two less than or equal to forty x one plus x two less than or equal to twenty four two x one plus three x two less than or equal to sixty that is one problem. Problem two maximization again. Uh, that is equal to maximize that is equal to three x one plus two x two plus five x three constraints x one plus two x two plus x three less than or equal to four thirty three x one plus two x three is less than or equal to four sixty. You have to see there variables here x one x three variables here. X one plus four x two less than or equal to four twenty. Like and one more problem uh, I have discussed here. Uh, I have given here minimization. Minimization of that is equal to eight x one minus two x two constraints minus four x one plus two x two less than or equal to one five x one minus four x two less than or equal to three. Um, many number many number of students thought that in the simplex uh, method only maximization problem will be given. No. Uh, minimization problems also there in the simplex simplex method. Okay, right. And um, and one more problem maximization. Jet maximize that equal to three x one plus two x two constraints minus two x one plus three x two less than equal to nine, and x one minus five x two greater than equal to minus twenty. Uh, this is the problem uh, which uh, you have, and the solution will be unbounded. The unbounded solution problem also problems also. Uh, you have to do in the simplex method case right so these are the problems i suggest in the simplex method unit 2 come to unit 3 what i suggest 
if you take unit 3 if you go to unit 3 unit 3 is of uh, various number of methods are there big gum two phase degeneracy and spe special cases in simplex method i'll tell you one by one big gum method so these are three problems i suggest here minimize that equal to 2x1 plus 3x2 constraints x1 plus x2 greater than equal to 5 x1 plus 2x2 greater than equal to 6 and x1 x2 greater than equal to 0 and the second one maximize that equal to minus 2x1 minus x2 constraints 3x1 plus x2 is equal to 3 4x1 plus 3x2 greater than equal to 6 x1 plus 2x2 less than equal to 4 hope you can understand in simplex method only less than equal to constraints in the big M method and two phase method uh, we can uh, it can be considered any uh, constraints greater than equal to less than equal to equal to this is the problem here and maximize that is equal to 3x1 minus 2x2 subject the constraints x1 plus x2 less than equal to 1 2x1 plus 2x2 less greater than equal to 4 like that in two phase method is a similar kind of problems you need not to do separate uh, a kind of method but i have given the problems Big M and two phase are two particular different method to solve uh, a particular LPP which involves uh, artificial variable that is either greater than or equal to constant or equal to constant is must uh, in the linear programming problem which is to be solved in the big M and two phase right either big M or two phase this is uh, two phase method I have suggested two more problems minimization the problem here maximization problem here two constants are greater than or equal to here one constant is less than one constant is equal to so therefore you have to use either big m or two phase right so these are the problem big m and two phase and uh, one more case is degeneracy of course it is not mentioned it will not be mentioned in the examination that uh, this is a degeneracy solve it if you if the problem is given like it is it, okay but otherwise uh, the problem will be given then you have to solve it if the degen if degeneracy occurs you have to solve the degeneracy and then again you have to do the problem that is only the um, case here maximization z is equal to 5x1 plus 3x2 constraints x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 5x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 10 3x1 plus 8x2 less than or equal to 12 so this is a problem of degeneracy and some special cases we have in this particular uh, uh, that is unit in this unit unit 3 special cases first one alternative solution that is uh, this is the problem of uh, linear as a, this is a linear programming problem which you will get more than one solution you can solve in any method uh, because of the constraints are less than both constraints are less than or equal to all constraints are less than or equal to therefore we can apply um, just a simplex method by solving the simplex method you will get two solutions alternative solution is going to be obtained that is uh, for uh, another variable of basic variable other than the basic variable if you get the net evaluation zero then uh, you have to uh, consider into basic and uh, uh, you have to solve the problem you will get another solution that is the case you have to do it this is unbounded solution as exactly we have discussed very clearly unbounded solution in solving simplex method it is nothing but um, where you will get uh, one particular vector enters into the basis then you know, for which uh, all y are less than or equal to 0 either less than or equal to 0 then uh, uh, the problem is unbounded so the solution is unbounded solution infeasible solution no feasibility there exactly uh, infeasible solution uh, by solving this uh, particular problem um, uh, a simplex uh, um, all the simplex methods because the big M method or two phase method because of the greater than or equal to constant you have then uh, you will get a particular case where exactly either in the big M or two phase if any kind of one particular case judge so for example two phase judge star less than zero like uh, uh, and the one artificial vector appears on the basis then you will have an infeasible solution for the given LPP and uh, last one solution of simultaneous equations these are the two equations are given to you and by using simplex method uh, you have to solve this uh, sol uh, uh, simultaneous equations right this is another uh, uh, case in the simplex method which are called sim special cases in simplex of course uh, unbounded and infeasible which are usual they are not uh, I don't uh, uh, think uh, these are the two particular separate things 
okay so therefore of course even then but uh, we have to treat as uh, as a special case alternative solution unbounded infeasible solutions of simultaneous equation so this is what uh, uh, another kind of problem right that is uh, this is unit 3 now i go for unit 4 right now you come and discuss unit 4 unit 4 is duality uh, duality means uh, two particular methods you have in duality one uh, using duality solve the following lpp using duality you have to solve the linear programming problem so this is for example maximize uh, z is equal to 40x1 plus 50x to subject the constant two less than or equal to constants so you have to solve this particular problem as usual uh, um, uh, simplex uh, method we can apply but uh, the problem is going to be converted into duality this is a, let us consider is a primal and you have to consider the duality you have to calculate a dual problem and you have to solve the dual problem and you have to give the answer to the solution to the primal problem that is called uh, method of duality of course uh, you are well known for this and, uh, and you have to uh, like that this is a minimization problem and greater than equal to constraints of course um, you have to convert uh, this primal into dual and then dual is going to be solved and then primal solution is going to be uh, given now dual simplex uh, method another uh, method in the dual uh, duality is dual simplex procedure in which i have given two particular problems here this is a completely a different method i don't uh, suggest more but uh, uh, what uh, what is my suggestion is uh, uh, after doing the dual simplex pro procedure uh, you have to do again uh, recollect simplex become two phase once again okay this is a one confusion method mm, that is other than procedure of simplex procedure different from the simplex procedure right and then uh, come to unit uh, 5 unit 5 is a post optimality unit 5 is post optimality and in which uh, 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 I have considered first one uh, the change in the cost uh, uh, cost coefficient and the objective function that is uh, C2 for example this is the LPP is given and if C2 is kept fixed at 45 determine how much C1 can be changed without affecting the optimum solution and that is uh, that is what we have to obtain by using the relevant formula uh, we have to see what what will be the effect of the optimum solution and without affecting the optimum solution and uh, what is the range of c1 you have to calculate okay what are the limits of c1 okay and uh, secondly uh, what is the uh, determine the ranges for this is the lpp is given determine the ranges for discrete changes in the components of b1 and b2 of the required requirement vector so as to maintain the uh, feasibility of the current optimum solution to maintain the current optimum solution you have to solve this particular problem right uh, for the changes in the right hand side constant that is requirement vector b1 and b2 you have to see the values 3 and 9 right hand side constant you have to see what are the uh, changes which means uh, what is the range of b1 what are the ranges of b1 and b2 you have to calculate right that is uh, two problems and uh, I'll, I'll tell you some more problems here in the unit uh, uh, 5 let's continue and if this is the given LPP and uh, then uh, what you have to do is uh, if a new variable x7 greater than equal 0 is added with the cost 6 and a7 is equal to 1 2 4 then discuss that is corresponding vector the co coefficient vector in uh, uh, every particular constraint that is a7 uh, you know the matrix a the coefficient matrix right uh, then discuss the effect of addition of new variable and obtain the revised solution if any this is called a problem on uh, addition of a variable if one particular variable is added then what would be the solution without affecting the optimum solution that is the question one question two is also similar if the variable x2 is deleted not that is uh, procedure of deleting deleted from the given lpp then obtain the optimum solution to the resulting lpp if a particular question is uh, if a variable is deleted here x2 x2 is a original variable if it is deleted what is the uh, effect of the solution without affecting the optimum solution what is the resulting solution okay uh, 
that we have to find out in the uh, one more problem. And uh, another kind of problem which is uh, if this is what I have one given LPP, you have to solve this particular LPP and then if the constraint x1 less than or equal to 15, that is, uh, is the question regarding the uh, addition of a constraint, addition of a constraint. Uh, the previous one is addition of a variable, then now here it is a addition of a constraint. If the constraints x1 less than or equal to 15 is added to the LPP, for this LPP, if this is the constraint is going to be added, then discuss the post-optimality analysis of the problem. And similarly, if the constraint x1 less than or equal to 20 is added, then discuss the post-optimality post -optimality of the problem. So, this is what uh, uh, I suggest uh, some of the selected problems, very selected problems are a very important problem in the operations research one that is uh, the paper 6a of uh, final BSC semester 5. Hope uh, if you do these kind of problems, you select uh, unity wise. Uh, if you do one particular unit, uh, you do all the problems what I suggested here, entire unit, uh, all the problems in the unit, uh, what I suggested in this particular session. Similarly, if you want to do this one more unit, for example, third unit, you do all the problems in third unit. The what is my suggestion is you consider unit 1 graphical method, unit 2 simplex method. Uh, that is that is must. After that, uh, uh, probably unit 4 is the best unit, uh, duality and dual simplex method. Uh, even though if you leave dual simplex method, duality is enough. Duality is enough because it is as usual procedure of uh, simplex method uh, or uh, big M or two phase method. So, therefore, I suggest that, that unit duality in the unit 4 and unit 5. So, at least you do very easy uh, procedures or uh, uh, you consider addition of a variable. Uh, addition of a variable or addition of a constant. These are the two particular simple topics. Uh, even then, uh, the range of V1, uh, the right hand side constant, the changes in the um, uh, cost coefficient that is C, uh, the changes in the Cj or changes in the um, changes in the B, BI, uh, BI, you know, whatever it is, uh, there are two particular simple. I have selected four problems. But of course, it is somehow difficult. Uh, not uh, much very, very much easy if you do uh, at least three units definitely um, you can do the problems and uh, uh, you can uh, get the full marks uh, of the problems and so that uh, uh, the pass is guaranteed because my suggestion is unit 1 unit 2 and unit 4 do the complete problems and then whichever you the problem you feel um, comfortable you select the problem Hope you understand. Thank you. Thank you very much.